Mark Carter. This is BBC Surrey. Good morning to you. Welcome in. It is day one of our brand new name. This is BBC Surrey. Joe Talbot, I'm with you through until one o'clock. And Wednesday and Thursday pretty much the same. BBC Surrey, it's five past twelve. Keeping Surrey moving. BBC Surrey Travel. Right, let's get the latest on the roads with the details for us once again. Here's Jim. Thanks very much, Joe. Let's look at Bryson. Well, expect delays uh, this afternoon on King's Road. There are works at the bottom of Norfolk Square, which could lead to delays. If you're heading into New Haven, the New Haven Swing Bridge will open in about 35 minutes' time at 20 to 1. And then there's another opening at 20 past 3 this afternoon. On to Guildford, traffic, according to CCTV, is moving very well. And good news for the slip road onto the northbound A3 at, uh, from the Woking Road, the 320. Uh, that uh, car bonnet has been recovered. Into Woking, traffic's moving well. No problems for reports at the moment in Farnham, say the control room. And if you're using the motorway as well, it's fine on the M25 as well as the M3. And no problems on the M23, but there are still severe, severe delays up in Berkshire on the westbound M4. All because of an earlier accident at Junction 8. Nine queues are all the way back to the M25. Trains and ferries finally are looking good this afternoon. No reported delays. There's more travel in 30 minutes. Call with your travel updates now. 0370 411 1046. Joe Talbot on BBC Surrey. Right, we're out and about on the big day out on BBC Sussex and BBC Surrey with Joe Talbot until one o'clock ahead of Jane Vickers. Going to be catching up with our correspondents across Sussex and Surrey and North East Hampshire and plenty more good songs to come as well. Hello and welcome to the show. Uh, BBC Sussex, BBC Surrey, let's get the latest travel with... This is BBC Sussex and BBC Surrey. It's just gone 11 o'clock, the news headlines from the BBC. To Surrey's radio station in Rygate, Godstone, and Hawley on 104 and 104.6 FM. This is BBC Surrey. Good evening, it's seven o'clock. I'm Laura Hampton. Another 200 jobs are being shared by the Legal and General Insurance Command and it really was rather pleasant. Have a lovely evening, won't you? Stay very cool. The news headlines for 7 o'clock on the way next. We'll see you tomorrow. at 7 o'clock. I'm Aurelia Allen. Woking. Aldershot. Farnborough. This is BBC Surrey. Rygate. Wallingham. Godston. This is BBC Surrey. Call with your travel updates now. 0370 411 1046. Surrey Breakfast with Nick Wallace. Hello, thanks very much for joining us this morning. It's 20 to 8 on Monday, the 7th of September. 
if you're going to school for the very first time today like my daughter Amy is very best of luck hope you've got your uniform out and your shoes polished and your mum and dad aren't getting too weepy as they say goodbye to you believe me it's a much bigger deal for them than it is for you uh, 104 and 104.6 FM and of course live on the BBC iPlayer now this is BBC Surrey Breakfast across the county our top local story there are plans for a new mosque to be built in Camberley but not everyone's happy about that bbc.co.uk slash Surrey I wish I had started this now keeping Surrey moving BBC Surrey Travel BBC Surrey not much room for travel at this rate. <laughs> Hi there, Mark. Starting with the motorways and the M25 on the clockwise side. It's looking slow as you head towards the roadworks. Backing up now from 15 at the M4 through towards Maple Cross at Junction 17. Elsewhere, though, looking at the cameras, it all seems to be OK. The M3 seems to be looking all right as well. No major problems from what we can see now. Certainly the M23 and the M4 all there seem to be looking quite good. On the A3, however, as you head south from Liphook to Hindhead. There are a few delays as you uh, head actually from Milford into Hindhead down towards the lights there. And if you're heading around three bridges, just a reminder there are these um, temporary lights on Hazlitt Avenue East that are causing some delays at the moment. These lights are until Friday. The rest of the local roads all seem to be faring quite well. Just back to the M25 and I can see on the cameras it's a little bit slow between 10 and 11. That's the A3 to Chertsey and actually up towards the M3. There seems to be a little bit of slow traffic coming off the M25 onto the M3. Quite a queue on the exit slip, which actually indicates that there might still be some delays on the M3 itself. So, any updates you have there, it would be good to hear from you. As far as public transport goes this afternoon, the trains and the tubes are looking fine, and we've got more travel in 15 minutes. Call with your travel updates now. 0370 411 1046 Mark Carter great choices coming through for the instant jukebox after six o'clock this evening including uh, a choice of the four tops that could be joe talbot making his own selection but no it's bunty and ashers uh, also uh, brilliant free by denise williams has been chosen by jay if you want to add your choice you can get in touch right now via the text 07786 207070 before six o'clock this evening uh, the so-called shadow or black economy is the subject of the latest tax matters with expert john o'leary and beat the tax man BBC Surrey with Mark Carter. BBC Surrey. First hit. BBC Surrey. So what on earth is the weather doing then with all the details? Here's Nazanin Gaffer. Hi, Naz. <laughs> Hello. Well, today's weather hasn't been too bad. We basically had a day of sunshine and showers. For tonight, most of those showers will disappear off to the east, although I think there will still be the odd shower lingering around the south coast. But other than that, dry for everyone else inland, although it will remain rather cloudy. But thanks to that cloud cover, it should be relatively mild with lows of 9 degrees Celsius, which is 48 degrees Fahrenheit. This is BBC Surrey with Claire Cowan. BBC Surrey. So protesters gathering which airway staff could strike at Christmas unless a plan to impose job cuts is cancelled. They've been meeting in Surrey today. We're going to bring you the very latest. And before six o'clock, we'll be taking a look at the latest motoring matters with freelance motoring journalist Jackie Violet. BBC Surrey with Claire Cowan. BBC Surrey. This is BBC Surrey with Claire Cowan. BBC Surrey. Now, Julia's... Hello, this is Danny Pike. I'm here till one as we head towards the weekend. And what a nice weekend it's looking as well on BBC Sussex and BBC Surrey. Today on the programme, we catch up with actress Denise Welsh, best known as Rover's return barmaid Natalie Horrocks. Uh, she's just published her autobiography in which she reveals full details of her battle with depression and alcoholism and how she fought back with the help and love of her husband's Tim. It's sound advice after 11 today with our antiques expert Fiona Shoup joining us to value those family treasures. So give us a call and we'll give you a ring back after 11 08459 570057 and next on the programme we're going to talk about Google Street View we spoke about this before and as we now know it wasn't only photos of your front door they were taking but also gathering computer data as well details in a moment
first of all, let's have some nice sunny music. Sports team are right on the case with all the things like that. My name is Nick Wallace. I'll be back at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm off to Aldershot later on this morning to find out what people think of this Westgate Centre. The decision is being made about that tonight in Aldershot and uh, we'll find out tomorrow whether or not it is going to go ahead. You have a great day, whatever you're up to. You're listening to Surrey's radio station. In Red Hill. Grinstead and Whiteleaf on 104 and 104.6 FM. This is BBC Surrey. Good morning. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Aurelia Allen.